Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shaiful. I am a student from INSTEP. I have a question that's a little bit off topic, and it's always make me wondering. If Allah is merciful, why Allah don't put Adam back in heaven after Allah forgive him? Uh, if Allah is merciful, why Allah don't put Adam back in heaven after Allah forgive him? If Allah is merciful, why didn't Allah put back Adam after he, after he brought him down from heaven? Allah, inshallah, Adam is going to go to heaven. All the messengers of Allah will go to heaven. Surely, Adam salam was in heaven. He disobeyed Allah. He asked for forgiveness. Allah forgive him. He led his life here. Inshallah, he'll be in heaven. The question is whether you and I will go to heaven, we don't know. Adam salam and all the ambiyas of Allah will inshallah go to heaven. The question is whether you and I will go or not, we don't know. Therefore, we are striving. And Allah says in the Quran, surely do you think Allah will put you in heaven without testing you? Allah says in the Quran, every human being, including all the messengers, Allah will never put a single human being in heaven unless he tests them. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said that all the Ambiyas, 124,000 Ambiyas, have undergone a test more difficult than all the non-Ambiyas. That means all the messengers from Adam alayhi salam, Noah alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, all of them underwent the test more difficult than us. All, but they passed. Whether we will pass or not, we don't know. So we are striving and we say, inshallah, may Allah forgive us and put us in Jannah. That is the reason we are striving. We are coming from thousands of kilometers. That may Allah accept our efforts and may forgive our sins and may unite the Muslim ummah so that all of us, inshallah, you know the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that if two Muslims meet in this world for the sake of Allah, inshallah, Allah will unite those Muslims in Jannah, inshallah. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he forgive our sins, may he unite the Muslim ummah, and may he grant all of us Jannah, inshallah. Amen. Nowadays, people say that Muslims having more extremists than other religions.